Prisoner is playing hide and seek with the guards. The guards can't find him. Inmate Roy is barefoot and silent. He carefully follows the guards' movements, predicting where the guard will land next and his next move. But the guard is not stupid. By the shadow of the ground, he saw Roy hiding behind him. How dare this boy molest me and beat Roy up again? Roy, however, was happy that he had taken his invisibility to the next level. Then he drew an eye on his hand. He used the eye as a viewpoint for others. He used the blind spot to study stealth. This time the guards came back to check on him. He saw that Roy had disappeared again. The guard was furious. You've molested me three times, I'll beat you to death this time. But when the guard went inside, something was wrong. Not only was there no one in the house, not even a shadow this time. As the guard was confused, Roy tapped him in the back, and then he punched him in the face. The guard was even more confused. He didn't even look at him before he was hit. Just as he was about to get up, he was punched out again. He couldn't even see him. He closed the cell door. If the prisoner did escape, it would be a problem. He looked through the window and still no one was there. Roy was like a ghost. Within a few days, Roy was released from prison. The first thing he did when he got out of prison was to use his invisibility to get back at those who had bullet him and then sneak into his girlfriend's house. One night, his girlfriend saw a figure. The woman knew it was Roy returning. It was late at night. The woman got up quietly. She stood in front of the mirror. Roy does appear behind her. The man comes out without noticing anything. The woman says I love you to the man she's bored with. The man thinks the woman approves of